Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Song Hee. I'm a general manager in SH, uh, which means uh, Seoul Housing, an agency uh, for public rental housing. Uh, there are about 200,000 public rental housing units in Seoul area. Uh, my job is uh, about housing welfare uh, department uh, for tenants group in public rental housing. Uh, well, I'm so happy uh, to deliver uh, my presentation. Uh, in my presentation, uh, there are uh, uh, three stories uh, related with uh, uh, households uh, with uh, housing crisis and the pandemic and uh, supportive housing uh, for disabled people. Yes, uh, this is uh, my story's contents. Uh, there are four contents. Uh, firstly, housing crisis and the pandemic. And uh, number two, emergency temporary housing. Number three, counseling for vulnerable households. Lastly, uh, I'm going to talk about supportive housing. This is a housing crisis uh, and the pandemic. Uh, as you know, and as you feel, we are all under pandemic. In this situation, the resident condition of vulnerable people can be downgraded because jobs like uh, travel agencies and restaurant jobs and simple jobs uh, for low-income people are disappearing. Upper part uh, in my presentation shows the path from home to homeless. And uh, according to the survey uh, by the organization uh, for uh, by a, a organization for homeless and so the number of homeless people is slightly increasing in the first half uh, uh, this year so we have a concerning uh, we have a big concerning about the increasing of homeless people because uh, we had a similar experience in which uh, there were many homeless people after economic recession following IMF, uh, International Monetary Fund, in 1998. So that's why uh, we, as age, as a public housing provider and an agency um, for public rental housing in Seoul City designed two practical plans in response to housing crisis during COVID-19 pandemic. The quick responses are emergency temporary housing ETH and the counseling for the households in housing crisis. We hope that ETH uh, will prevent uh, vulnerable households uh, from becoming homeless. And uh, secondly, the counseling program will support uh, households in crisis in their maintaining housing. I'm going to talk about uh, emergency temporary housing in detail. 
Uh, this is uh, the outline of emergency temporary housing. Uh, ETH, emergency temporary housing, is uh, composed of uh, uh, two factors. Uh, first one is uh, social housing and uh, second one is care services. Uh, the social housing is uh, supplied for low-income households in the verge of uh, homeless and uh, families having children have a top priority for entering ETH. And uh, the rent for social housing, uh, rent for uh, the ETH will be free of charge uh, for the coming households and uh, the duration of residence in a uh, ETH is one year in maximum. The care services uh, such as the urgent fund, basic living appliances, social services and information for a new housing will be offered till the households moving to new stable social housing and uh, sometimes uh, private housing within a year. And uh, next page, uh, this is uh, housing images for ETH. Mm, ETH will be chosen among the social housing units. Uh, as you can see, the center part is the social housing examples uh, called uh, uh, public rental uh, purchased rental housing and uh, the one of them can be used for ETH. So one unit of ETH has two rooms and one hall and one toilet. And uh, uh, for a family having children ETH units needs more than two rooms or for children. Okay, and uh, this is collaboration of players for ETH. Uh, for that, uh, there are three players for ETH. Uh, firstly, housing providers will provide uh, uh, provide some social housing uh, to local government uh, at a cost. And secondly, local government will supply uh, the social housing as a uh, ETH uh, to vulnerable households uh, selected by the criteria. Um, and uh, the rent uh, can be for free of charge. And, uh, and lastly, uh, last player is the housing advice center. Uh, the housing advice centers give care services to vulnerable households uh, for the moving to new housing, hopefully within about six months. Uh, this is planned for ETH in Seoul. Um, there are 25 boroughs, which uh, is a kind of local government in metro, uh, in Seoul, metropolitan city. Each borough will have uh, uh, 5 or 10 ETHs and starts uh, and opens uh, ETH in 2021 and um, yes this year SH made some MOU with the boroughs in Seoul uh, this is uh, counseling for vulnerable households um, this is uh, the counseling program for households and the housing crisis because of COVID-19. 
uh, COVID-19 economic recession, consultants in HWC Housing Welfare Center in Seoul, they are counseling uh, the vulnerable households in arrears over three months. Uh, in the counseling, households with the housing crisis are receiving uh, consultants' help uh, such as uh, social services, job finding, financing aid, mental health program, and uh, information of affordable housing. Uh, the purpose of this program is to support households in housing crisis uh, because of jobless and uh, unemployment in the pandemic. Uh, yes, uh, for counseling, borrows uh, uh, the local government and uh, HWC, the Housing Welfare Centre, uh, corporate. Uh, in Seoul City, uh, there are 25 Housing Welfare Centre, uh, which is kind of a a, a housing information and uh, consulting center uh, in each borough in Seoul. Um, for the counseling, uh, local governments find uh, vulnerable households uh, by checking the rent arrears and the maintenance fee arrears water and electricity fee areas. Uh, now we have a, a little complicated system for counseling uh, the households in crisis because of the protection law for the personal information. However, HEWC is doing their best to counsel the risky households by the cooperation of local government and uh, uh, in the future uh, for that uh, we are going to make uh, institutional improvement uh, for this program. Yeah, the last one is a supportive housing. Uh, what is supportive housing? Um, okay, supportive housing is made of uh, housing plus supporting for independent living uh, for uh, vulnerable uh, people, such as homeless people, elderly, the disabled people. Uh, for example, uh, when homeless people and the disabled people move into uh, the supportive housing, they can take some supporting services, uh, such as, uh, as you can see uh, the diagram. Firstly, the community relationship and the health care and the connecting social services in communities and advocacy and uh, supporting daily life and maintaining residence and uh, consultation and case management. Um, so Metropolitan City is uh, implementing uh, the deinstitutionalization step by step. Uh, and uh, some experts are saying that on the pandemic, uh, the independent living in supportive housing is better for containing spreading the virus. Okay. Um, there are uh, three supportive housing players. Uh, firstly, housing providers 
supply the supportive housing uh, to tenants, uh, such as a homeless person and elderly and disabled person, by direct contract uh, for the housing at a cost. Uh, secondly, the organizations uh, for care services support the tenants with care services. The care services uh, types are said earlier. Uh, okay, and lastly, uh, the sole metropolitan government controls the whole of the projects of supportive housing and uh, give the gives the organization subsidies for operation uh, such as uh, labor cost. And uh, this is uh, a plan for supportive housing. Okay, uh, there are 450 supportive housing units in Seoul as of uh, on November in 2020. And uh, we SH is going to provide 200 supportive housing units in Seoul every year till 2022 at least. There are some uh, living pictures in supportive housing in my presentation, as you can see. Uh, tenants are cooking and growing uh, some vegetables on the rooftop together uh, with the health of carers and uh, okay yes uh, I think it is last page uh, in my presentation yes these are uh, residential satisfaction factors in support for housing SH uh, surveyed uh, the performance of supportive, supportive housing in 2019. In the survey, most of the tenants in supportive housing are happy with dwelling, uh, dwelling stability, self-confidence, self-decision, having jobs, mental and body health, and uh, lastly, independent living in communities. Okay, um, I think this paper is the end of my presentation. If you have any question, do not hesitate. Please contact me by my email uh, on the last page. Uh, I will be happy to share uh, about this presentation uh, okay thank you all for your warm attention